This will be a great match, KB. Well, it does have the markings, and GQ is an excellent wrestler. You're not going to work in the NWWA and not be an excellent wrestler, but man, has he bit off a big piece in the Prince. That's and with Charlie and the song. Bomber at ringside, boy, I'll tell you what, I wouldn't, I don't like his chances. Charlie and the Bomber definitely bring something totally different to this match because outside Absolutely. interference isn't a question. It's definitely going to happen. Well, Just the matter of when. GQ is using his quickness, and that's what he's going to have to use to go against the power of the Prince. Oh, a headbutt to take. You see that one oh, massive yeah. headbutt takes down GQ. This is just crazy. Well, there's there's some vicious. hard feelings between these guys, you know. Uh, the prince is from Egypt, and uh, I believe uh, GQ is from Biafra, where you know where they. GQ is from San Diego. Why? Well, he looks like those people from Biafra. They're starving to death, you know. So he is nothing but muscle. He may not be a big fella, but he's all muscle. The only muscle I think he's got is uh, on, on his shoulders, you know. Well, he's, look at him, he's ripped. He ain't huge, but he's ripped. The drop look kick at that. Take him down. Look at that. A drop kick from GQ, and the prince just brushes it off. That's a monster of a man. And look at Charlie, he's enjoying every bit of this. Well, yeah, absolutely. Except for now. That ain't happening. No Irish whip. No, heck no. He's not Irish. Uh, KB. Oh, wow. Yeah. One hand gets now him. There's out of an Irish whip. Irish.
Irish. I don't think he's Irish. Now either. GQ stands for genuinely queasy. Well, say what you will. He's I, I definitely a great wrestler. I usually do. Yes, he is. He is a great wrestler. Yes. You don't work here unless you are. But I'm telling you right now, that's hard to take. Oh my God! Somebody, look at that! Look at that! Hard exactly. way back in the ring. Look at that! Charlie's loving this. Well, the prince. I he don't came, think GQ is. He came to work tonight, man. He came to work. He just gets better and better all the time, and his power is unbelievable. Oh, you got that right. He is one massive man. Yes, he is. That's another man I wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of. Oh, absolutely not. You know, I was talking to him the other day, and he looked at me, and he said, Arr! and I understood what he meant. Yeah. That meant he's having a good day. Absolutely. Absolutely. Did you see my interview with him? Uh, no. Nah, uh, what was that on? It was on Entertainment Tonight, or was that on, uh, you know, uh, TMZ, or what, you know? I was trying, but they won't push me that far yet. Uh, uh, it's online on YouTube or on our homepage. There's times when I can push you pretty far, I'll tell you that, you know, just to get you the hell away from me. But, I mean, look at the prince. Oh, man, he's about ready to... Oh, man. GQ is just taking a massive amount of punishment. Yes, he is. And he's not a big guy. Not big. Talented. Yeah. Not big. Oh, he's a talented guy, and he, and he is very fast, and he's going to have to use his quickness, or else the prince is going to have himself a GQ toothpick. He's going to chew him up and spit him out. Absolutely. But in that interview, I asked Prince how he felt about being in the family, and I got another, which means he feels that it's very positive for him, and it's going to give him a lot of opportunities. What do you think on that one, KB? Well, I think that, you know, maybe you should join the family. Maybe you can talk to Charlie. Charlie Jr. and see if you can join the family. There's no way I'm talking to those psychos. Yeah. Not unless I have to. They're, they're a little odd, but the nicest bunch of guys, you know? Nicest bunch of guys? Yeah. Are you brainwashed too? Well, no, I'm not brainwashed. We're just thinking about making a bowling team, you know? A bowling team? Yeah, Charlie's family. I'd be glad to throw a few strikes at them, you know? KB, you're killing me. Well, I'm telling you right now. GQ fighting back with a couple yep. kicks to the gut. Yep. Oh. oh, to the chest. He's what back up. Take? He's on the top rope. He's a very athletic. Coming off the second rope. He gets him down. Man, I'm telling you right down now. Down goes Prince. I would have thought that he could have taken that Prince off his feet. Come on. Let's go, GQ. I have nothing against the Prince, but you always got to go for that underdog. Well, you better not have anything against the Prince, or he's going to have something against you with those big old ham hock hands. That's the last thing I want to cross my oh, face. Oh, absolutely. Because that just won't hurt. That'll leave a mark. Yeah. You know, uh, with that headbutt that the Prince had delivered to GQ earlier, I don't think those punches in the head are going to do any damage to him. Oh, GQ's finally looking eight. like he's getting the better of him. He has a head like the Sphinx. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, playing it in the ring. And there we go. Can he get the Prince? Oh, come on. Come on. I'm surprised he got a one count, to be honest. Absolutely. He's putting it all in there. He's leaving everything he's got in that ring. He's a brave man. He's brave definitely brave a brave man. Oh. Out of his mind, but I mean, a brave man. Psychotic is more of the word. So Suicidal maybe. is more of the word when you get into the ring with the prince. Yeah. Oh. GQ not having it. Misses the clothesline. The oh. bicycle kick takes man. him down. Man. I can't believe this. One, two, three. Oh, my Holy God. Holy smokes. I can't. Well, let me. What a yeah. come from behind. Uh-oh, here comes the bomber and Charlie. I would, uh, I would hold up there, Greg. Uh, they, uh, the ring seems pretty full right now. Yeah, I think I'll just stay right here for a moment. Yeah. The bomber's taking care of the referee. And Charlie the Prince. We need to get somebody out there to help GQ. Right, it. Uh, I'll hold your coat. Oh, I ain't going. Here comes Cairo. Cairo's coming. Shows you the family is cowardly at times. 
In numbers, you are strong. Well, this guy has come in with a weapon. That's Chris Cairo. They've done things to Chris Cairo, if you don't remember from the Hammond Armory. Oh, well, for sure I remember. Unbelievable. I can't believe that GQ actually pinned the Prince. But those are the uh, upsets and the excitement that comes with the NWWA, the greatest independent promotion going nowadays. The star of the Midwest.